avoid these six mistakes when talking to an INFP. If you're an INFP, watch this resonate with it. If you're not an INFP and you either want to make INFPs angry, please don't, or you're trying to date or be in a relationship or you got a friend that's an INFP, this video will be helpful. What's up, Game Changers? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology, helping you find your true character and level it up so you can play life better. So these are six things that have really just kind of like stuck with me, messed me up in my life. Uh, not as like a one-time thing, but like repeated incidences that uh, people have done and that I have felt not good about. <laughs> They've messed me up, made me angry, made me sad maybe not like the relationship, made me want to leave, made me want to do bad things to myself. So here we go. Number one, don't overwhelm them with tasks. I just, I get like completely swamped and overwhelmed when somebody's like, okay, we got to do this and then this. And then, um, you know, this week I have these four different appointments and then I got to go see a man about a dog and then I got to go raise my elephant and I need you to go get the milk because it's really important. Like, I just almost died right there. My head was just like, I don't know which one to focus on. I don't know what's the most important. Don't overwhelm us with tasks. Tell us the first thing that we need to do. Let us do it or give us the time to do it. And then tell us the next one. Number two, don't insult their intentions. Mmm. Intentions and motivations are like key to FI, key to FPs. Uh, it's, it's so important that we, you know, we trust that people trust us because we are, you know, we're, we're who we are. We're, our, we're trying to be a good person or whatever it is. Um, we're going to be authentic to ourselves. We don't want to hurt anybody, of course. Nobody does. People just, you know. Long story short, people have their own goals, right? And they think that this is the best action to get their goals. Well, our goals as an FP, somebody who uses introverted feeling, that intrapersonal harmony and balance, is to resonate and be aligned with ourself, be authentic with ourself. And if somebody says like, well, you know, you, you had bad intentions, you weren't doing the right thing because you were trying to do this other thing, that is aggravating because like well i had all these these different things that i have i was doing and things that i was you know keeping track of and see what had happened was and then you know you got all these things going on and so you didn't do it not because you were a bad person not because your intentions were bad but just you were focused on something else or you were evaluating something and you just kind of struggled with it and you dropped the ball but that expanded out into a, a larger picture is something I think that happens a lot to INFPs. It's like people expect you to do something and you don't do it. And it's not because your intentions weren't there. It's because you were focusing on evaluating it in some way. Number three, don't call them boring. I just, I hate being called boring. Sometimes I feel I am. But I don't want other people to call me that. That's for me to call myself when I don't like myself. Uh, but I mean, cause like there's so much going on in here and so much creativity and innovation and all these ideas and uh, they just, they're just not expressed. So, you know, you may be seen as boring because you're not expressing them, uh, which is maybe a thing for another video. But yeah, when somebody says you're boring, it's like, I know that I'm good at being creative and doing these these fun thought experiments and, and creating new things and expressing art and myself and all this stuff but for somebody to say that you are boring it's like dismissing all that and saying no 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 you're just focused on like that warm that warm blanket and the soft comfort and just sinking into that couch and watching some tv or playing some games um, and that's just not the whole picture, you know? 
wind. Next, number four, don't put them in a situation where they need to discuss their ethics. Um, this is a little bit more complicated, but we, we feel these things and we're led by our, our gut feeling, okay, in a lot of ways. And it's just, it's not put to words. We don't have the language for it a lot of times unless we take the time to develop the language for it. And really just, okay, what am I feeling right now that's called grief? Okay. And what am I feeling right now that's, that's joy? Okay. And like, I know that's really simple, but like actually flaying it out and making sense of it. And then when you bring that to ethics and like why somebody should or shouldn't do something, there are all these different parts involved. And it's just like, you shouldn't do it because it's not what you should do as a human. Hmm. And then you just, you can't really express it. And it makes things really awkward and it just, it feels bad too. Because you're just like, ah, trust me. <laughs> and that doesn't usually work, does it? Number five, don't tell them that how you feel about it doesn't matter. Honestly, this is something that I haven't really struggled with too much in my life. Uh, I've been surrounded by a lot of feelers, although I have had some thinkers too, but whatever a person is feeling, and I know this is an F-I thing, but whatever somebody is feeling is important that they're feeling that and that they use that as a ballast for decisions. Hopefully, they have enough control over it and enough, like, growing it and building bonding rapport with it that they they can wield that emotion properly or that feeling properly but uh yeah saying how you feel about something doesn't matter it's like calling somebody a bad word a bad name that i can't use on this channel and then being like well you know why are you upset about it it doesn't matter how you feel about it it's like well it happened, and it is something that I'm feeling bad about. It's, it's a thing that is in the way of me acting like a better version of myself. So it's something I should take into account. And the last one, number six, uh, don't pressure them to answer quickly. This kind of ties into number four about ethics. But it's like there's not a lot of words, not a lot of language for these things. And we have to evaluate and balance everything that we do and it's just it takes time unless we've already made the decision see that switch when we've made a decision if we know this is something that i do or do not do this is something i like i'm going to do this thing it's so much easier like boom we just snap into it and it's it's i've made that decision but if it's something that we don't know we haven't experienced enough uh, we're debating on it for some reason. Uh, we, we want to explore a little bit. We want to try this other pasta, but uh, good old meat sauce is trusty and reliable. <laughs> then like it just it it's not something that we can quickly decide because we have these conflicting parts that want to do two different things. And we have to like have them talk it out and hug it out before we can make a decision. Um, and so it causes the need for time. It takes time. And I know other people are like, get it done. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's do something. Let's figure it out. You know, I want to just start eating. I want to do this other thing. Let's go to a movie. What movie? Uh, I don't know. You know, it just, it can get overwhelming sometimes. So don't, don't pressure us to do that. Guide us if, if you want to. Like, well, what do you think about this one or this one? What about these two options? Maybe that's a little bit easier. Or say how you feel. Say what you want to do. Uh, I, I want to go see this movie. I want to blah, blah, blah. Because most of the time we'll be like, oh, yeah, okay, that sounds fine. Like, whatever you want to do, because I don't really have a strong opinion on that. <laughs> this is life for INFPs. I don't really have a strong opinion on that, so uh, let's do that. But if we do say, hey, I want to do this, then please let us do it please go with us. Don't, don't be like, well, why? Or actually, no, how about we do this one? Or what do you think about this or this? 
and we say this one's good and then you choose this one that's anyway <laughs> just got a little bit passionate about that so anyway these are six different things you should avoid when talking to an INFP avoid making these mistakes they will cause some issues with your INFP friend or yourself <laughs> and a little little end pointer here if you're an INFP you should work on these things you should get better at them it's hard it sucks number one don't overwhelm yourself with tasks get better at dealing with tasks and a lot of different things creating structures and strategies just it's a it's a thing two don't get insulted when people insult your intentions be able to express your intentions more be a little bit more decisive <laughs> should i do this for the rest of this whole thing okay uh number three if somebody calls you boring it's because you're not expressing yourself enough number four get better at expressing your opinion about different ethical issues and situations <laughs> it's so hard to say like this you know if if you know how you feel about it and why it's a good thing or bad thing and you can tie it into your past into a story how you felt in a situation and how this would make you feel and then why that's why you shouldn't do that thing that'll be better you can express that more and the next one number five uh get better at dealing with people when they say that things how you feel doesn't matter because sometimes you do just need to suck it up and and do the stuff that you need to do to live a better life and the last one number six uh get better at answering quickly by just picking something and doing it and trying it see how it goes because hey, why not flip a coin all right thank you very much for watching this video i hope it was helpful i hope it served you in some way and got you to think about yourself a little bit if you're an INFP or think about INFPs a little bit if you're not an INFP and, and improve your relationship with us because we're lovely people. All right. Keep up the life. Oh, over there, INFP stuff. Over here, personal development stuff. Keep up the lifelong questing. Good luck, have fun. Peace.